This is the video on scientific variables. Uh, so remember, in th these videos, there will be c two codes in the videos. One will be a written code that will show up on the screen. The other one will be a verbal code that will be said by myself. Each code will be three numbers, and you need all the codes in order to move on with uh, any assignment. Uh, so remember, when you're looking at these slides uh, with green, you can uh, bullet point that. You can summarize that. Everything else is kind of just uh, to get like a complete picture and also uh, like just a little additional information if you uh, need it. So this is the weekly review uh, written code. I would recommend you write this down somewhere. All right, so let's answer this question. What are the scientific variables? So uh, let's take a look at the independent variable. This is what is being tested. It's the cause. It's what you are studying. This is the quantity that is being manipulated by you, the quantity that you are changing. There can only be one independent variable per experiment. So let's just take a look at this example. Does the color of light affect plant growth? Well, what is the independent variable? Well, the, the light color, right? That's what we are changing in this experiment. This is what we're testing. We are testing to see if the color of light influences that plant growth. So now let's take a look at that dependent variable. The dependent variable, this is the variable that depends or responds to the changes made in the independent variable. Uh, what is this is what is being measured as a result of the change you make in the independent variable there can only be one dependent variable so here's an example does the color of light affect plant growth well what is the dependent variable well, it's going to be the growth rate that's what we are measuring in this experiment we are changing to see if that light color the independent variable uh, to see if it influences the plant growth rate that dependent variable so now let's take a look at constant variables this is what is kept constant and kept from changing when the independent variable is changed. These variables, if not kept fixed, could possibly affect the results of the dependent variable. Now, usually you have many constant variables. Now, these are also called controlled variables, um, but they're, they're like for the, you might see this differently in, in other places. Controlled variables might be a little bit different than constant variables. Uh, in, in this video, I use constant variables because it's just easy to remember. It's what is kept constant. So the example, does the color of light affect plant growth? What are some constant variables? Well, basically, the answer is everything else. So you'd want to keep the type of plant the same, right? You, you wouldn't want to have a tomato plant and a corn and then like carrots and three different lights. That wouldn't tell you that much. You'd want to keep the plant the same. You'd want to keep the type of soil the same. You'd want to keep the intensity of the light. Yeah, we're changing the color, but you want to keep them the same brightness. You'd want to keep maybe the time that the light is on. The uh, let's see here, the water, the amount of water uh, that you give, the the size of the planter that each plant is in, right? So let's see here. Yep. So intensity of light, type of soil, amount of water given to plant, environmental air temperature, environmental humidity. Lots of variables need to remain constant, right? So basically everything else. You don't want anything else affecting uh, that data. So you only want to change the independent variable, measure the dependent variable. Everything else remains the same. So let's look at this question, right? Does giving a golf ball, does giving a car the surface texture of a golf ball affect the gas mileage? So uh, this is a Mythbusters video in this experiment where they tested to see if the dimples on a car affect the gas mileage. What's the independent variable in this experiment? Remember, this is what is being uh, manipulated. So it would be the surface texture of the car, right? You have a smooth car and you have a uh, one that has the golf ball uh, dimples. What is the dependent variable in this experiment? We're measuring the gas mileage in the, of the, the car. What were some constant variables in this experiment? Well, you want to keep everything else the same, right? You'd want to keep uh, the, the, the car, right? The make and model of the car, the, the speed of the car, the driver, the road, the weather conditions. Everything else needs to remain the same except what we're changing, which is the, uh, which is the, the surface texture and what we're measuring, the gas mileage. So, which design of paper airplane has the fastest speed? So we practice this, right? So in this one, what we were doing was we were throwing three different designs of paper airplanes, and we were seeing, well, which one went the fastest? So in this one, we had to identify the independent variable, the dependent variable, and some constant variables. Uh, then the next part is, will the throw technique affect the paper airplane? So in this experiment, right, we, had to, we uh, threw uh, one design, and we threw it three different ways, and we had to identify the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the constant variables. Uh, 
So at this time, I'll go ahead and give you that verbal code. The verbal code is 434. I say that again, the verbal code is 434. And the last day, well, will the number of paper clips affect the speed of the airplane? So by adding paper clips to that to the paper airplane, uh, that affects the mass. How by basically the yeah, the mass of that airplane, and then we were measuring the speed. So in this experiment, we had to take the uh, the uh, find the independent variable, the dependent variable, and the constant variables. Uh, now, using all that data, right, uh, the idea was that you had one final throw that with the best paper design or best paper airplane design, best throw technique, and the desired number of paper clips, and you have one really great throw. So, uh, just as a final thought, remember there's too much unknown in the universe to take a break from learning. Get out there and question everything.